two big wildfires are still burning in Llano County. Good evening, I'm Robert Hadlock. And I'm Sydney Benter. Dozens of local and state firefighters have been working more than 24 hours now to save homes, animals, and ranches. Right now, the focus is shifting to a larger fire that popped up this afternoon closer to the city of Llano out on County Road 308. That's where KXA's Aaron Cargill has been for the last six hours. Aaron. Robert and Sydney, I have been standing here taking in this dramatic sight since the sun went down around 8:30. Would you look at this? Check out those flames coming off the side of that hill. The glow, the smoke, and the fire don't seem to be getting any smaller. We can also see embers that look like tiny Christmas lights off in the distance where the fire has already been. This is what firefighters are up against. It's been an uphill battle all day in Llano County. Just when firefighters were getting a handle on one wildfire, another one popped up, growing even larger than the first. See how that's orange? That's intense. There's so many dry cedar trees out here, and they're just blowing up. Vicki Moore's family has been ranching out here since the 1850s. When we see a fire in this area, we immediately get on the phone and we start calling all of our neighbors. The fire spreading quickly over rugged terrain, jumping from one ranch to the next, but thankfully missing homes nestled in the hills. The terrain is the biggest challenge, just getting to it. We caught up with Otto Rushi, a 38-year veteran on the Lano Volunteer Fire Department. I have my truck as a tanker. It's got 1,800 gallons on it. Once he got to the fire, he sent me these photos from where his team helped create a fire break in 100-plus degree temps. Also heading toward the fire, volunteers bringing relief for crews. The citizens have donated water, Gatorade snacks, cooling towels, chapstick, um, sunscreen. Yeah, sunscreen. Um, we've got uh, more supplies on the way. We've got ice coming. Um, it, it's, it's really been a, a huge relief to know we have these. They, they need this stuff now. And here's one last live look at the scene out here just off County Road 308. The generosity of this community shining through. A lot of those volunteers tell me they are not leaving these firefighters' side. They've got water and food to keep them going all through the night. It's looking like it's going to be another nighter for these guys and gals. Also, we're not going anywhere. We're going to have a crew coming to relieve us to have the very latest for you tomorrow morning starting at 4.30. Back to you. Great coverage. Thanks, Aaron. Now to the first wildfire that broke out last night just south of Horseshoe Bay. This is drone video sent to us from a viewer. The Smith West fire is 45% contained. 775 acres have burned. Rosie Newberry is in for Jim tonight. Rosie, we know it is hot, of course, but it is there any good news out there for the firefighters? Well, there's going to be some relief just because we're coming off our daytime high temperatures, but we're also starting to watch the potential for higher concerns overnight. I'm going to break those down for you in just a moment. This Horseshoe Bay Resort Air Park is the closest to the first fire that we were reporting on, and I was just checking out at the Llano Municipal Airport, which is closer to the larger second fire that we saw today. However, that Llano Municipal Airport site has been down since 7 p.m., so these are the best numbers we've got coming out of the hill country, 90 degrees at this time, but humidity really starting to jump. As we get towards the dawn hours, that's when our humidity is going to start to become the highest, which is good news for firefighters battling those fires out there. However, winds might start to pick up overnight. This is something that we've been seeing for the past couple of weeks, kind of this low-level jet of southerly winds in the overnight hours, which might make it more difficult to fight that fire. So wind threat, I think, is increasing. Humidity threat is decreasing. Drought is going to be an issue no matter what way you dice it. And tomorrow, top temperatures could be even warmer than today.